so today I'm going to sound test the Seismic Audio, I was just replacing it. Uh, I mean it kicks really hard, this is the active version, they run about under 400 bucks. Uh, just put silicone again because they had a cone ripped. So let's see. So let's see, we got the EVs right here, so I'm gonna just sound test it real quick. I plug into the cheap ass radio shack, ukulele, some cheap ass speakers, but let's just check it out right now. What it sounds like. <laughs> My brother just showed up right now. How far did you hear it? it uh, was I was just... probably like two or three down the blocks down over the street. I heard it's cool. And this bitch is blocked up in here in my garage right now. I'm just bumming it. Let's see this shit right quick. What are... Yeah, but I would recommend it. If you're on a budget, it is a great speaker to hold Hold on, and this speaker, man, it's only under 400 bucks. We spent about 700 on these bitches right here, and these things kind of fucking suck because they turn off after about two hours that you're going full blast on them, and it starts clipping. You keep on lowering the volume down, and they still clip, and to the point where they shut down. So, but I mean, I would not recommend these really as much as the cheaper version of subs, you know, and they do a better job than the name brand. So I mean, these things could be clipping that you're overpowering them, but I mean, we blast them just to test them out for about four or five hours straight. You know, the limiter is going to be right there. I mean, we just blasted them for about four or five hours straight. They they got hot, but they didn't shut down, and they did a wonderful job. So, I mean, I would recommend the Seismic Audio. We just took the grill off this bitch so because we, we had to repair it earlier because our shit ripped. But, I mean, it's doing pretty good. It's good for the price.